All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing some Lulu in the mid lane. We're running Comet, Mana Flow, Transcendence, Scorch, Boots, and Biscuits. We're going to go a full AP Lulu, and she's actually really strong because she has good damage, and then later on in the game, she turns into a lot of utility, very safe. And a lot of people will not respect her damage because they don't have any experience playing versus a Lulu mid. So our build path is going to be a Ludens as our mythic item. So Lulu has a lot of uh, base damage. Not the greatest scaling, so we want items that give magic pen. Because that makes our base damage hit a lot harder. We'll do Ludens, Shadow Flame... You can even throw in a Lich Bane on Lulu. She does auto attack a lot. Look at that. Qs and autos do a lot of damage. Because the Q has such a slow that if you um, you have run Comet, it will hit every time they're hit by the Q because it slows so much. So you can either use your E as damage or to shield yourself. I think against Pantheon, I'd want to shield myself when he jumps in. Well, I did it late there. I probably should have just did it for damage. I actually could have just killed him. Wow. Let's see. He's low enough where I could just flash E, ignite him, and then Q him, and he's probably dead. Don't even need to flash. He's dead. Don't even need to Q if we just auto. Yeah, I don't know if he doesn't have magic resist, but I'm just doing so much damage to him. Maybe it's because he started with uh, the potion. So he has no extra health. But if he has magic resist, wow, my damage is crazy. But what I like to do is, I was trying to wait for him to flash there. Because after he flashes, picks will still follow. And I think somebody's behind me. Let's go this way. Picks will still follow so I could still land the, um, whatever it's called, the Q. That's a little unfortunate. I might be able to kill him. Actually, if I had Ignite, I could. Oh, his attack speed. It's not low enough yet. A few more autos. The thing is, if he flashes and... Cues me, he could live. Okay, that was scary. Well, now I got red buff. Nice. My auto attacks were enough to kill him there. So I could stay in lane. Use my biscuit and my potion. Cue the whole wave. And use your E to last hit minions too that you can't normally reach. Also, I can put my E on like this cannon. Walk away. Shoot the Q off of it. And hit him. And I almost missed a cannon there. The thing is, when you just E a minion and you use the Q, you don't have that E damage then. It's just for getting a longer range Q. Whereas the, the big combo I'd want to do is... E them, then auto attack, then Q. But I gotta be careful I don't get stunned under his turret and die. So E, auto. Auto again, Q. Okay, there's a... Oh! Alright, well I didn't realize their bot lane was coming here. That's my bad. I thought maybe like a jungler, if anything, but... Both of their bot laners roamed. Well, that's not good for me, but... Let's get the chapter. Oh, we have free boots. Uh, I'm gonna get a seal here. I think we'll snowball. And now I just have to save up for Ludens any Blasting Wand. And then we'll get po big power spike at Ludens and Sork Shoes. You can also go cooldown boots if you know you're going to be more on the support side. But Sork Shoes are really good for damage. Yeah, we'll be able to keep, like, Swain alive forever in teamfights. 
Well, we're probably going to get repeat ganked or roam down again, so I'll be ready for it. I'll put my wards down. It'll probably be Warwick this time. Well, Pantheon has the double buffs now. I'm just going to try and hit him with Qs. Since if I get an E range, he just stuns me. I just got him with another Q. Oof, missed an easy Q. Akram can try and gank this, but... It is a Pantheon. If he stuns him, I'll ult. That's a good combo. I should have ignited an auto again. It would have been close to killing him. But if he stays, I can just get him the next combo. The buffs are gone, though. I think my bot lane died, so they may be roaming again. I don't want to get baited too hard here. Probably might be safer just to go for plating. I mean, he's missing minions just waiting here. But he he's trying to get me to dive him. I'm pretty sure somebody's waiting here. I mean, Pike is definitely stopping mid before he goes back bot, so... I'll just be ready for it. Now, Pantheon is 6, so he can ult back into lane. So, I guarantee you they're setting up a gank or something into his ult. I mean, Pike's here. I'm just going to reset. We have time. Get the Blasting Wand, run back to lane with our W on ourselves. That gives us move speed and attack speed. Don't know where Pantheon is? Okay, never mind. There he is. He could have actually roamed to a different lane. Wait, he's down a lot of CS. Because we are bullying him. Lulu is very strong in lane. Like, Pantheon's supposed to be a strong laner, but we are giving him troubles. Okay, so since he's usually on the edge of my range, the combo would be W myself for speed so I could get close to him, then E him and whatnot, but he just, he stands so far away. And even that combo gives him the room to just hit me with his stun, so I could keep poking him with these EQs with the minions. Let's see. Two top, two dead bot, so he's alone. If he walks up to auto, these are QDs. There we go. E on him. Wait for his uh, thing to end. And he's dead. Okay, Warwick's back up with speed, so I can't stay for plating, but I think I have time to get this. Let's get out of here. Okay, we have Ludens. Oh, hey, look, there's Pike. Okay. Ludens, Spike, we just need those Sork shoes now. Oh, yeah, he tried to all in me. And I have an alt that just gives me 300 health and a knock up. Plus, I can shield myself if I want, but I keep using it on him for damage. I'm going to try and do that uh, W-E-Q combo. It's just hard to do versus him without getting stunned because the second I'm in range for E, he does stun me every time. That's why maybe an Hourglass in this matchup would be better than uh, Lich Bane. It depends if we can just survive all the burst. There's an E-Q. No auto, but... Look at that, that's 40% of his health off two spells that are already back up, and we hit him with another one. Warwick's here, he just marked me. 
Not too scared of him, though. Putting it on a minion. Super extendo Q. He marked me, but he's bombed. Weird. If he doesn't get close enough to these, then... Oh my god, that Q damage, man. That hurts. Pike's here. I wish I didn't just burn everything. Well, I knocked Pike off. Got him. That guy gets away. I think I'm dead, though. Oh, dodge to zero. I thought Varus was going to have ult. Okay, I can actually kill Varus here. Watch this. EQ auto. Man, I, this guy just keeps going for me. I feel like he's going to run away, but he tries to all in me. That's scary. Oh, we got him, though. Oh, it's a AP Varus. No wonder I didn't die there. I thought Varus had ult, though. I was ready to just die. Okay, well, six in one. I'm just able to fight them all. And now we get bigger power spike. Next, we're going to go an alternator, which is going to add even more. Alternator is really good for base damage. So we'll do Shadow Flame, and then I will do... I think we'll either do the Lich Bane or the uh, Hourglass after that. Okay, Pantheon looks like he ulted bot. But yeah, the thing is, this build has pretty strong early, really strong mid-game. After mid-game, I'll start falling off, but, like, I'll still have shields and stuff. Like, my damage will fall off, not my utility and all that. That's just because once they start tanking up... Oh, if that Q hit, he'd be like 40% HP. Once they start tanking up, I just won't do that much to them. Not a tank melter. But I can keep alive our tank melters, so. I just, I don't know where any of them are. I'm pushed up pretty far. Varus isn't here. Warwick just did dragon. Oh, missed. There's Pike. Warwick's headed up top side. I think Pike might be here too. I gotta wait for him to go back bot. Because if he comes through here and Warwick comes through here, yeah, they're, they were gonna go for me. Oh my god. Oh! And he dies to an EQ combo. I was really holding my alt to see if I really needed it to save him, but then Pike flashed on him. So, yeah. This guy's going to ult me if I get too close. And then I'll get Warwick ulted. I'm just going to stay back because they really want to kill me. There's that. Use my Q, hit Varus. I'm still fine. Flashed out of my E and reach him. But he still dies. Yeah, he has no farm. He is. And the end's not going to scale at all. He got two kills, but he doesn't have any CS. Who's strong on their team, though? The Warwick, the Varus has. Their bot lane has a few kills. I'm surprised my bot lane got their turret so fast. I guess it's because they just kept coming mid. Yeah, the AP Varus will be able to one-shot on our team. I think we'll be okay, though. Because he's going to be somewhat squishy. Once I have Shadow Flame, I think my Q clears the casters in one go. Look at that, the alternator pops. Just a Q on him. 
30% of his health. And then I'm clearing the wave super fast. Warwick's coming. Warwick's gonna be here in like half a second. Let's get out. Hit another Q on him. He's too low. Bot lane's gonna come through here. Oh, Warwick's doing um... Look at that. One Lulu combo kills Pike. And I polymorphed him, so he couldn't even do anything. But you see a Lulu, and you don't expect to get one shot like that. Done, Harold. I don't think we could stop him, so I will probably lose my turret just to that. Oh, hang on. There's a Varus here. Oh, I got behind Pantheon. I think I'm fine still. Alt. And E. Could have used my E to shield myself, but he was running, so I needed to do it for damage. Finally got that Herald. Use this for attack speed. I got Swain nearby, so Warwick shouldn't be able to beat us. Unless I get hit by Warwick all, which looks like it's what he was trying to do. Let's get out of here. He's dead, but he he didn't even hit anything. He just ulted. Pressed ignite and ult. Oh, they might get Warwick. Yeah, they should. Good. Very good. I'll die for that. That's fine. I was really hoping the pike wouldn't get me there. I mean, I could go death cap. But the thing is, we have 40% ratio... Uh, 55% on shield, which is decent, and then 45% on this. A Lich Bane probably would be better, because I do fit in an auto attack in all my combos. So let's do that, and sell that for that. I don't really want the Sheen yet. I'm using a lot of spells. And then late game, I can just uh, polymorph Kale too, if she gets scary, but... They do have a lot of people that can deal damage on their team, so hopefully... The front line doesn't get obliterated. Hale doesn't know my damage. Look at that. There's a combo. Auto EQ. Or E auto Q, whatever you want to call it. We need dragons. It's team fight time. If Varus is top, this is just free. Unless they steal it, of course. Chunked him. He might alt me for this. He stole it? But I have this E on Kale. Oh my god, she got so lucky. Oh, she died. Holly him. Nice. Not bad. Sucks they got the objective, but... They've been getting all of them. I don't know what killed Kale. Must have been Scorch or something. Okay, I have Lich Bane. And that gives me move speed and uh, cooldown too, which is really good. Haste is good on Lulu. I just would go against building uh, Leandries because the burn is nice, but you don't poke enough for it to always be burning. And then the, uh, the magic pen just hits harder. She does have a lot of burst. And that seal is a good investment. It's 10 stacks. It's just faster than me. I think it's part of the game where we need to be grouped up, though, because they're not going to go anywhere alone. And mids are only turret left, so this is what they're mainly going to focus on. I don't want to go out too far, because if I do get a Warwick ulted into Pike Hook, into Pantheon stun, I will go down. There they are. See if I can one-shot them. Keep going. I should have waited on my... Q because he was going to dash and picks will follow him. Okay, they need to go top and they're going to try and force mid while I'm up here. 
poke Varus a bit. They should be able to stop that. Warwick shouldn't be able to 1v2 them, but Nara doesn't want to. Super low first. Darn. It hit the turret. And then they do have a pretty strong Kale. Kaiza seems to be able to hold, but who knows. They might just split us up and try and get these side lanes since they're so much weaker than me, apparently. Oh, I'm, I'm a bit in trouble here. I think I'm fine. I used everything to defend myself, and I actually didn't really come that close to dying. Now if we could just deal with that Kale. Wow. I just survived three people jumping on my ass. And I didn't even have to flash, because it wasn't up. I don't know if they can kill Kale. You might just kill uh, Hecarim. Nah, they're... Oh, uh, this is gonna be close. Oh. She must have not had ult. I mean, I kind of want to go to the Magi's here since I'm pretty fed. More move speed, easier to land combos. Get away. Now, I could get a, a Death Cap or a Void Staff. They don't really have enough MR for a Void Staff. Maybe what I'll do is Death Cap and then sell... The Magi's later when I die for a Void Staff. What are they doing? Oh, there you are. Darn, I wanted to eat him. Oh my god. Did he flash? He's super low. I'm just gonna polymorph Pike if he tries to go in. Okay, we need Warwick not to steal this. We need to, like, play more aggressive and just fight, though, and not give him the chance to steal, because if he's stolen everything else, he's going to steal this one, too. You get really good vision around here. I'll speed him up. We have Swain, so this fight will be good. Speed up Hecarim. That gives him more damage. Oh my god, he got deleted. Okay, good. Wait, where's the dragon? Are they on it? Oh no, it didn't spawn yet. Thought it was up. Oh, really close fight. Oh. Okay, so we get this dragon. And I just go for Kale. Polymorph's good versus her. I don't want to speed myself up. Because while she's hitting me, I just will take so much damage. See, I kept Kaizo alive there. So close. Ooh. Let's see if I get. S no, can't save Swain. Akram can save me here, I think. I don't think I needed a flash. I just kind of panicked there and pressed a lot of wrong buttons, but I could have just killed him by E Ignite. I'll just speed myself and hit this. They're giving. Without Warwick, they can't do much. But we do kind of need to end this game soon because Kale will definitely outscale. She's getting a wit's end, it looks like. You keep mid push, though. Oh, hello. Slowed Varus. The thing is, I, I just can't walk up here. Pantheon stun into Varus ult. More CC. Keep Hecarim alive. Speed him up, and I'm out. Don't need to chase any further, Mr. Nar. What are you doing? Alright. Okay, Warwick, uh, alt down. 
Swain ult. We win this. We just stand in them. I just need to poly the Kale so she's not melting everybody. And there she goes. She can't even alt herself. And while Swain's alive, just slowly draining them and slowing them all. Yeah, we could we could try for a Baron here. Since we have the gang all together. I don't really have any mana though, so I need the fruit. Speed her up, shield him. I don't think Pike can kill me. That's an auto and an E. That wasn't even Q that hit him. I do have um, alt for Hecarim if he needs it. We gotta get him. I even missed my Q, but my my auto E's are just doing like 60% of their health bar. Let's see. I'm still gonna get that death cap. I feel like I'm, I don't need magic pen yet. 25 stack Magi's is gonna synergize really well with a, a death cap. It's just 500 damage or 450 basically. Auto attacks add on 182 magic damage. It's not too reliable though, because if there's minions and stuff in front, it'll hit the minion first. Oh yeah, the auto adds another. Okay, my auto attack adds 500 damage. <laughs> my auto attack empowered is just as strong as a spell. And since I have a lot of AP, I speed myself up a lot with these move speed items. Nice Kaiser beat Kale. If she ran to me, I could maybe save her. I might need to save my alt here for myself. I'm gonna play this slow and just try to keep myself alive. Yeah, there's nothing he could do. Like Polymorph is one of the strongest CCs in the game. Well, I melt turrets too. Need to keep rocking Lich Bane. We can maybe get another turret. The two that do a lot of damage are dead. This thing got shredded. I'm gonna keep going. Free inhib. Here they come. I could just run at this guy. You too early again, but he may die. I just need to be more patient. I'm trying to just like instantly kill him. Wow. Well, I could go buy a decap and then we'll go for dragon. Okay, let's see. 56, 69% move speed. Wow. I can make Hecarim go really fast, which gives him a lot of damage. Hey, we made it to full build, 29 minutes, 14 and two. I just, I have a lot of experience playing this. I played Lulu full AP for a few seasons straight. I thought that was a teammate. Come here, you. And then there's the picks on him. Nar needs to stand in front of me here and not just I'll ult him this since he did tank something there. There he goes. Speed myself to get out of here. There's the Swain ult. They can't beat Swain. Swain's gonna just be able to stand in them and they all die. There it is. And I can just keep Swain alive forever, too. A little bit of a rough fight. The KO was untouched for a while. It's just difficult with Pantheon because he can block all of my bursts with his E. I don't think we can win here, but I can I can get these turrets because he's just giving them. He had to go heal. Okay, time to leave. You can't go this way, though. Got him. I have ult for Swain, even though they want me. Hit Pantheon. Yeah, Swain's got this. Oh, no, the Pantheon didn't die, unfortunately, but look at how easy I killed Varus. I didn't even need to E him. 
Oh, I need to run. I mean, I'm probably faster than him. I don't know. Thing is, I could just hit him with a Q and slow him. Oh, I don't know if I was on vision or he just saw me stop moving, so he ulted. He'll slowly die here. Down he goes. I see Kale says, never thought I would see a Lulu solo carry a game this hard. See, nobody nobody knows that this is this strong. Nobody expects this. Oh yeah, at this point, I obviously can't get any stronger. I can't build more items, but... If anybody else on my team was strong, which they are, I could just keep them alive forever in fights. Oh my god, Nar just got one shot. Come here. You're about to get one shot back, man. Oh, close. There's a Kale, though. Oh my god, Pike dies so fast. I actually killed this guy, because I'm so fast that he can't get away. I'm going to give him the worst Lulu death possible. Oops, I didn't even mean to flash if I had fingered it, but he's AP Varus. I can't let him stack up his passive on me because he'll one-shot me just like the Narga one-shot. Well, I accidentally wasted flash, but I think we're okay because I do a lot of damage. And we have Ocean. I'll heal back up. Good. CC the Kale. Keep her CC'd. I have my E on her still. Here comes the Pix. Oh, the alt was still going, but I did slow her so she couldn't run away. He's poly. And Warwick didn't go in, so they just lose. I have 700 move speed. Can't really kill him. Let's see what Varus does. Shield. Almost. All right, GG. If you guys enjoyed the Lulu game, please drop a like before you go. Also, consider subscribing to the channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. If you want to see me play more supports mid. I have a lot of experience playing supports, but not actually playing them as a support. Pretty well-rounded team. That was a good game. I actually never fell off this game. I just kept getting damaged. It was because of the Magias and the Death Cap, I was able to just have so much AP. 64k damage, Lulu. Here's our rune stats. Comet did 4100. Very good for 33 minutes. Because it just always lands. There's so many slows. Scorch did 1300. We apply that a lot. And yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.